Hey there, my name is Ryan and welcome to my first video on YouTube. I hope you enjoy and learn something from it. I'm a freelance WordPress developer and somewhat of a designer. To not waste your time, I just want to let you know that this channel and the videos will be more suited to you if you want to build a website for your business or brand and if you want to start freelancing using the WordPress platform. My plan for this channel is to build websites in different industries where you can follow along and build your website. And I'll be showing you the first website we will be building shortly. If you want me to build a website in a certain industry or maybe a similar website to one you've seen, please leave a comment below. You can also send me an email to my email address, which I'll leave in the description. If you've never built a website before, you may think it's difficult, but in my videos, I want to show you that anyone can build their own website. Now don't get me wrong. If you want a well-designed website with some special functionality, you will need to hire a pro designer and developer. But if you just want a well-structured website that showcases your services or products, looks professional, and has some basic functionality, then I'm going to show you how to do just that. And I'll try my best to keep these tutorials as simple as possible. In order to follow along with my tutorials, you will need web hosting and a page builder called Divi. If you already have these, then you're good to go. If not, I will provide you with links in the description to web hosting and the Divi page builder. And to be transparent up front, if you decide to purchase through my links I provide, I will receive a commission. And if you do decide to purchase through my links, I just want to thank you for supporting me and my channel. I appreciate it immensely. Now that I've got the introduction out of the way, let's hop onto my laptop and show you what website we're going to build. I'm now on my laptop and this is the design we are going to build in WordPress and Divi. It is for a photographer or for photography business and I'm going to go through each part with you soon just to show you this will be the desktop version this is the tablet version and this is the mobile version so I'm just going to switch to another view of this so this is actually how the website is going to look once it's been built so we just have the logo sorry let me just get rid of that just the logo over here and then we have the navigation menu over here and this navigation has quite a nice hover effect and we just have the main heading with a subheading and the call to action button and we have this nice background image if we scroll down we just have this section over here which will be your testimonial section the next section is of recent work this has this nice like pink border around it and guys you'll be able to change the colors so you don't have to go with my color scheme you can go with your own color scheme so as i was saying these have nice borders around it uh, it's like a transparent a pink border with some transparency the images will be black and white but when you hover over it you'll get this icon and the image will go to its original color and then when you do click on it, it will open a light box window, which I'll show you what it is when we get to that part. Then the next section is a section called what I do. And it just shows that this photographer does weddings, family photo shoots and landscape shoots. And again, this is more of a rounded image with these, this pink border with some transparency. We then have this about me section with an image of the photographer and then there's some text here and a button that says more about me which when you click on the button will take you to the about me page. I've just used lorem ipsum texture. You will obviously use proper text. This is just placeholder text to show you where the text will go. Then the last section is this context section and, and it's also the footer section where you'll just have a telephone number, an email address, your social media icons, a privacy policy page, a terms of service page, and then there's just this footer text at the bottom. So that's what it looks like. 
So just to show you what it will look like on a tablet, we have the logo, then this hamburger menu, and then the same heading, subheading, and button. It will just move now into the center. Scroll to the next section. It's all the same. Just obviously on the smaller screens, it will stack and not be horizontal. So I'll just scroll through this a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Again, it will stack like this because it's on a smaller screen. And that will be the tablet version. Let me just show you the mobile version. So again, just a logo with a hamburger menu, the hero section, the testimonial section, the recent work section, the what I do section, the about me section, and the foot and contact section. So that's what we will be designing in the next few videos. Now, I'm not going to be designing everything all at once with one long video of two, three hours. I am going to break it up into smaller videos and I will post that. I just find for me, it's easier to build that way instead of watching a video for three hours because I start losing interest after about an hour. But if you don't have that problem of getting disinterested in the video and that, you can just watch each video one after the other. The next thing we need to discuss is web hosting. And I recommend Green Geeks. Main reason is it is an eco-friendly web hosting company and they do care about the environment. And then the other reason is for website speed. So you can click on the link in the description and it will bring you to this page. And then you can just read through all the features of Green Geeks. But to sign up for an account, and just to show you, there's no hidden fees and it does come with a 30 day money back guarantee. To sign up, you're just going to click this Get Started Now button. You'll then get to the Packages page. You can choose between Light Pro and Premium. Again, read through the features and see what you need. If you're only going to make one website, then you just need this Light Package. If you're going to make more than one website, then I recommend having a look at the Pro or Premium. So just click on one of the Get Started buttons, depending on which uh, option you go for. Right, the next page brings you to let's set up your domain name. If you already have a domain name, you'll use this section. If you don't have a domain name, you'll have to create a new domain name. So where it says new domain name, just put in your domain name of choice. Then on the right here, you get to pick the extension you want to use. I'm going to just leave it at .com and then click next. So if your domain name is available, you will get to this page where it says you're almost live. What you want to do is fill in your personal details under account information and scroll down and go to the package information. If we click on the drop down, you'll see there's four options. You can pay monthly, annually, biannually, or triannually. The choice is really up to you. If you go monthly, it doesn't mean you're going to get worse service or worse servers or anything like that. It just means you're going to pay monthly instead of annually or biannually or triannually. So I'm going to sh just show you the difference between a monthly package and an annually package so you can make an informed decision when you choose the web hosting. Let's go for monthly first and then let's scroll up here to the pricing summary. The setup fee is $15. Guys, sorry if you're yeah, talking in the background. My wife is at home working today and she is quite loud and is on the phone at the moment. So sorry if you can hear her in the background. So back to pricing summary. If you're going for the monthly option, you're going to have to pay a setup fee of $15. You're going to pay your monthly package fee, which is $10.95. You're going to have to pay for a domain name for it's valid for one year, and that's $13.95. When the year is up, you do have to renew it again um, at the same price. It might be a bit more if the price increases. Then there's add-ons of $9.95. Just let me show you what add-ons is. Over here under essential add-ons, you'll see there's three check marks here. The first two are checked automatically because they are free. But the ID Protect is $9.95 per year. So you don't have to take this option. You can uncheck it if you don't want it. And you'll see it's removed from the pricing summary. However, I do recommend to leave it checked because it will prevent you getting tons of spam and 
your personal information that you fill in over here will be hidden from the Whois website. So let's just go back up to pricing summary. So that's what the add-ons is. And then your total for the first month will be nearly $50. And then the month thereafter and, and the other months after that will just be the $10.95. Let me change this now to an annual option. Just keep in mind the $50 that you'll spend the first month. Let's change it to annually and go back up to pricing summary. So you'll see the annual package is $131. The domain registration is the same with $13.95. The add-ons is $9.95. But when you take it, the annual package, you get the domain name, you get free. As you can see, there's a credit of $13.95. You then also get a coupon savings for taking the annual package of $72. So your total discount is nearly $86. So your total for the first year will be $69. Now, you're paying $50 for the monthly and then $11 thereafter, where for the first year, you're going to pay $70. So it's an extra $20 to pay for the whole year. And then you don't have to worry about monthly payments after that. You've paid for the whole year up front, and you'll only have to pay again when that year is up. Just to warn you, or not warn you, but just to be upfront with you, that when the renewal does come up, you will pay this fee the discount is only for the first year and then it reverts back to the $131. So go through the pricing and see which one suits your budget and choose that one. Then under server location, you can just click this change location and you're going to just select the location that's closest to you or the location that's closest to where you operate, where your business operates. Right, we've been through essential add-ons. The last section is the payment information. You're just going to put your credit card details in here and you're going to click create an account. You will then receive an email from Green Geeks with all your information to log into your Green Geeks dashboard. Once you've logged into your Green Geeks dashboard, you'll be presented with this quick launch wizard. You're just going to go to where it says start a new site and select that. And then you're going to go to WordPress and select that and then it will automatically install. That's how easy it is to set up WordPress on Green Geeks. If you use other hosting companies and you're not sure how to install WordPress there, just reach out to the support. They will be able to help you. The next thing I want to speak about is Divi by Elegant Themes. There are many page builders out there. There's Elementor, Oxygen, Beaver Builder, Builder All and a few others that I can't think of right now. And they're all pretty good. You also get a free version of Elementor. So you can build a website for absolutely free. Just you'd have to pay for your domain name and hosting. But you're then limited in, in what you can build with the free version. But if you want to build a website for absolutely free, there's many tutorials on the free version of Elementor that you can find on YouTube. The reason I'm recommending Divi is it is the most popular page builder, as it says there. I think it is installed the most times out of any other page builder. And then it's a pricing structure. So I'm going to head over to pricing. And this is where you go if you want to purchase Divi. And you have two options. You basically get the yearly access and the lifetime access. So again, your choice, which option you want to go for. Obviously, with the yearly access, you're going to have to pay every year. But with the lifetime access, you pay once and you get to use it on unlimited websites and as it says it's a one-time fee both come with a risk-free guarantee it's a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you don't enjoy it you can just ask for a refund if you do go with the annual access you only get product updates for that year if you renew you'll obviously keep getting product updates but if you don't renew you don't get the product updates and the premium support if you go with lifetime everything is lifetime which obviously that would be the best option, but I see it is a more pricier option. So if you prefer yearly, go with that. Then to purchase Divi, all you're going to do is choose one of the packages and click, ups, click sign up today. You're then going to create your account by filling in your details over here, put in your card details, check this, you agree to our terms of service, and then complete registration. You'll then get an email with your details 
and then I'm going to show you where you can download Divi. Once you've got your confirmation of payment and that from Divi, you're just going to come back to the Elegant Themes website. You can go and hover over accounts. You're just going to fill in your username and password, which I'm going to just quickly do off screen. You're then brought to your members area and at right here, the Divi theme. So you're just going to click download the Divi theme and save it to a, your desktop or to a folder. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that now, but that's all you're going to do to get Divi. Once you've got your hosting and the Divi page builder, you then need to log into WordPress. So if you've gone through Green Geeks, you can just log in through your dashboard. If you get to this page, you just need to fill in your username and password. So I'm just going to do that quickly. So you then click login. You'll then get to the dashboard of your WordPress website. And for the last bit of this video, we're just going to clean WordPress up a little bit and we're going to install Divi. And in the next video, we'll actually start the designing of the website. And in the next video, we're going to just design the this top section here with the logo and the navigation menu and this bottom section here which is the footer i'll then break the videos up to design this hero section and then another video to design the rest of the page i'll then do another video to do the about page and then another video to do the contact page but for now, we're just going to clean up WordPress and install Divi. And then that will be the end of this video. And then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload the next video and start designing the head and the footer. Let's just go back to the WordPress dashboard. First thing we want to do is come over to posts and click on that. You'll see you might have this, you might not. If you have any posts here, you want to delete all those posts. So we're going to just hover over the post that title and we're going to click this link that says trash. Once you've done that, just click on this link that says trash. You'll see the post is in your trash now and we want to remove it totally. So we're just going to click this button that says empty trash. We're then going to go over to pages and click on that. My WordPress installation comes with these pages included. I don't want them. So I'm going to check this very top box. So it selects both pages, come over to bulk actions, click on the drop down and select move to trash. I'm going to click the apply button. Once the two pages have been moved to trash, we'll click on the trash link. We'll find the pages there. And again, we'll just click this button that says empty trash. While we're on the pages, we're just going to create the pages we need. So let's click on this button that says add new. If this is the first time going into pages, you might get a pop up here, which you can just close. So where it says add title, this page we're going to call home. We'll then head over to this button that says publish and click on that. And then we click on publish again. Now it tells us home is now live. We want to add another page. So just below that, we'll click on this add new page. And this page we're going to call portfolio. We'll then click on this publish button and then just confirm it by publishing it again. The next page we're going to create, if we click on the add new page, is the contact us page. We'll then click on the publish button and then just confirm it by clicking on the publish button again. We need another page, so let's click on the add new page button. This one we're going to call privacy policy. We'll then click the publish button and the publish button again. We're going to create one more page. 
which is the terms of service. We'll then click the publish button, publish button again, and we are done creating all the pages. We can then just click on the WordPress icon in the left corner here, or the top left corner. And there's a list of the pages we've just created. Next thing we're going to do is go to Appearance, and click on that. And this is where our themes are. We're not going to use these themes that come pre-installed with WordPress, and yours might be different to mine, or it might be the same. We want to add Divi here. So let's click on this button that says Add New. We then click on this button that says Upload Theme. We then get this option to choose a file. So you'll just click choose a file and go to where you've saved the Divi theme and choose that file. I'm just going to quickly drag it from my other screen here. Yeah? You'll see that it's named Divi.zip and we'll click the install now button. Now this might take a few minutes so just be patient. Once Divi is installed you'll get this message to say the theme installed successfully. We'll then click the Activate link. And you'll see now Divi is installed and is the active theme. For these other themes, I don't like to have them here, so I'm going to delete them. And to do that, we just click on Theme Details. And in the bottom right-hand corner here, there's this Delete button. We'll just click on that. And you just get this warning to confirm you are deleting the theme. We'll click OK. I'm just going to do that for these other three themes here quickly. So once you've deleted all the themes, if you have, then you'll only be left now with the Divi theme. The next section we're going to go to is Menus. And that's under the Appearance option if you don't see it. We now want to create our top menu, which is this over here with the portfolio, the about and the contact. So let's go back to WordPress. And the first thing we need to do is create the menu. So where it says menu name, we're just going to type in primary menu. And we're just going to click the button that says create menu. Once the menu has been created, we then have access to our pages on the left hand side here. The pages we want to add is portfolio, contact, the app. We'd never created the About Us page. That's right. I forgot that page. And I'm sorry about that. So let's quickly create that page. Let's just hover over Pages. Let's select Add New. Right, now that you have Divi installed, your page layout might look a bit different now. But it's fine. We still can add a title, which is About. I think it just says About. Yeah, just About. And we're going to click Publish and then Publish again. The bot is now live. Let's again click on this WordPress icon to go back to our dashboard. Now let's hover over Appearance and go to Menus. We've already created the primary menu, so that is selected already. We can then access our pages on the left hand side, just so we want the About page. We want the contact page and we want the portfolio page. So let's click this button that says add to menu. So now see the pages have been added to our primary menu. Let's just reorder this. So we want the about one first. That's fine. The portfolio we want second. So we're just going to click on the portfolio and drag it up like that. And that brings the portfolio in the middle and then the contact at the end. Just a warning. If the page does that. You don't want it like that where you've got the about and then this portfolio becomes a child page of the about. You want to make sure all your pages are aligned right to the left like that. So they are a page on its own. Once you've done that, click Save Menu. And there is our menu created. Next thing we're going to go to is Plugins and click on that. 
Now you may have plugins installed here or not. If you don't, you can ignore this part. But if you do, we don't want these plugins. We're just going to check this very top box. So it selects both plugins. We're going to come over to the bulk actions, click on the drop down, and we're going to select delete. We're then going to click the apply button. We're just going to get this warning to say that we are deleting these plugins and we're going to confirm it by clicking OK. Once that's done, we're going to come over here to settings and we're going to, you just hover over settings and this menu pops up on the right. Let's click on general. All right, now depending what you want, you want to put your site title, which is normally your business name or your name over here, tagline. I don't worry about this tagline. I'm just going to take it completely out. All right, then the rest we can leave as is and then click save changes. We're then going to skip writing. We're going to go over to reading. Then over here, we want our home page to always display when someone just types in our domain name. So we want it always to point to the home page. So where it says your home page displays, we don't want it selected as your latest post. We want it selected as a static page. So let's check that. And then under home page, we're going to click on the drop down menu and we're going to select our home page as the static page. The rest of the options you can just leave and click save changes. But then the last thing for today, we're just going to click on permalinks. Over here, you want to make sure that post name is selected. And the reason for that is we don't want these, what do you call them? These, these funny domain names like this. We want just our domain name with the page name. That's all we want. So make sure you select that option and click save changes. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're just going to set Divi up to make it easier for us to work with. I'm going to show you how you put in your username and your API key so that you can update Divu every time there's an update. And then we're going to start designing the header and the footer. So guys, I just want to thank you for watching my first ever video on YouTube. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If this is something that interests you and you've enjoyed this video so far, please like the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And please also remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified when I upload the next video. If you do have any questions, if something I've done is not explained clearly enough by me, I apologize for that. But please leave comments down below in the comment section and I promise you I will read every comment and I will get back to you. And if I have to, I'll make another video explaining something in more detail if it wasn't, if it was a bit too vague in this video. So please do that um, so I can help you guys. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day further and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone.